guess what, guys? Time for Zam and Max again. Oh, that was a hiccup. Uh, so yes, we are back again for Time and Max this time. Episode 102. Situation Comedy. Do it. Well, I got it. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes. Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Mm, butterscotch. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Brady Phyllis Fulcher. Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their <gasps> collective Not will. Gifts. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great. I've been itching to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. Next Tuesday. All right. Oh, what do we do? So. What is now? Anything new at the rep? Let's go check the let's go check the route. Anybody home? Guess not. Nope. Cheese this time. Nope, no cheese. Brady Culture's hair. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Good times. Uh, let's see. What do we got in our inventory? Your gas grenade in that. Alright. Hmm. I guess we can go. I guess maybe before we go to the TV station, we should check like all the places here. Like we normally would. Let's go talk to Bosco. Newspaper box. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. All because of us. What the? You're probably wondering how I know your name. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. Uh. Why the disguise? What's with the slanted suit strainer, Bosco? Bosco? I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. Sam, what language is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think <laughs> it might be English. <gasps> really? Seriously, why the disguise? No, really. What made you convert to British? It's because everybody's got an in for me, that's why. Yeah, we heard. I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. Oh, they'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. Who's got it in for you now? What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man! They're after me! Skin bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. 
Oh no, the skin bodies are like skinheads, but ten times worse. Sure, they're not a hundred times worse. Yeah, maybe a hundred times, maybe a million. Okay, why are the skin bodies doing? What are these it? skin bodies? What exactly are they doing to you? They're stealing my, I mean, <clears throat> pinching my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? So they can shave their bodies, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hmm. What happened to B Ted's? Not to be rude, but why isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high tech detecting parts from B Ted. Meaning nothing's stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something! Hmm... I want to buy something. We want to buy something. Hmm. Yes, hmm. Uh, quite so, quite so. What have you got? What have you got? Well, there is still one kind of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't got yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And <laughs> I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Creepy. What's behind the counter? What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? <laughs> well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. Okay. We'll take the shaving cream. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid. Spiffy. Ticker teepoo. Just bring it to the counter. Okay. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. See you, Bosco. Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cherry. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Pause off, game. Dog. Pig dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. Black, fucker, blimey, ballot. The little bladder did it again. After him. I mean, tell me. Okay. Tally ho, fool. Hmm. Maybe. So they're in this little tiny car. What are we supposed to? <laughs> Driving around. Let's go chase him. Let's chase him to the Soto. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin buddy can't be stopped. After those rats. After those rats. Can't 
dodge my shots forever. Watch him! This skin buddy can't be stopped! So where's this man for this? Take the wheel, little buddy. We'll make him go into the manhole cover. Yeah. Skin buddy, skin yes. Yeah. Hey, the shaving cream. Okay. Shaving cream. Hold on tight, little buddy. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so now we got the shaving cream. Hmm. I wonder if we need to go talk to him. I don't know. No, because then he'll want me to pay for it. Let's just go to the TV place. Where are we going, Sam? Why would I want to pay for shaving? TV cream? studio. Goody! TV studio! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. WARP. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. Watch. Oddly quiet Yay. in here. Mysteriously so. Well, Too let's quiet. find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. <laughs> he wants to smack people. Hey, Max. What is it, Sam? What show is filmed here? Any idea what cheap ripoff of an already lackluster show gets filmed on this set? Even money says it's something tasteless or tawdry, but preferably both. Which boogie, little buddy? Lights, camera, devil barreled action. Director's chair. Hello. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max. Freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could have fooled... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. <laughs> oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my <laughs> hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Uh... Next! Who's next? Toast, the musical. We're looking for Moira. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name, Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. Psst, I'm Myra. creative and Myra. she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago, and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. Winner, winner, that truly is dinner. the American dream. Let's see... We'd like to audition. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? 
I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Geller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. <laughs> it's a classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes, boy! That is so me. And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now, hmm. show me rabbit. Rabbit. Um, Ooh, foaming grr. mouth. Grr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people. Who... Zip it. Okay, Max, you just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a natural Botox reserve. Oh, make him cry. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh. I can make him cry. Get the tear grass grenade. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh oh. <gasps> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. <laughs> Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Oh. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. All right. Apple crate. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Derrieres. Midtown Cowboys, here we come. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. The crew's working on Myra. Stupid, no talent, fat face. Hmm. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. <laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for this show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboy, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. <laughs> My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Mm. Great. Where's the script? Sight well, gags. there's a slight hitch. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. <gasps> improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. Dead man can Don't improvise. worry, you'll be working with Philo Pennyworth, who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained. Globe Theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to save the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. All right, let's start taping. We're as ready as we're ever going to be. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, <laughs> your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. 
Ready? Action! I'm not gonna have to talk over this. They're talking. They probably had it a cow. Open up in there! I know you're hiding a cow! Let there be light. Hey! Let's Open hide the cow. Up. We'll hide him. Open up in there! There we go. I know you're Life hiding of the party. a cow! Oh. Aha! I know you got a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? Uh... Abraham Lincoln? He's our chef. This is the French chef we hired to satisfy our inexplicable, insatiable craving for omelets and duck a la <laughs> And frog's leg. I like mine extra crispy. Oh, a French chef, eh? I love French bread and, and French fries. I went to Gay Paris one time myself, you know. It was back in my army days. Okay. Goodness, who left this lying here? Um. <laughs> Ew. Say, what's this? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? Um... Mugu Gai Pan, a delicious food. He said Mugu Gai Pan. It's a French dish the chef has just made. Oh, super! I'll try some of that. Where's the plate? I can't help but feel this is all terribly wrong somehow. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. mm, interesting. That's one way for it. Oh. There's a familiar flavor. Fennel, maybe? Kentucky bluegrass, I think. <laughs> this moo moo whatever stuff is really good. Uh, what's it called in English? Cow pie. <laughs> really? Well, that's funny. It sounds just like. <laughs> 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 Now? Now. <clears throat> Better get the serious toothpaste. <laughs> Do me. And cut. Mm. So comical. The network is going to love it. Yay. Nice. I'll be in my dressing room refreshing my muse. Don't call me for at least an hour. Nice work, you guys. Here's a clip for your reel. Thanks. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Okay. Game show door. Oop. Cooking show door. Let's go see what's in the game show door.